Samajwadi Party chief Akhilesh Yadav might contest the Uttar Pradesh election as per sources and this will be the first time ever that he does so. Sources told media that the pressure was on the Samajwadi Party chief and former chief minister after the Bharatiya Janata Party's Yogi Adityanath decided to contest the state polls for the first time. Adityanath is also contesting for the first time. Akhilesh had earlier said he would not contest the polls and focus on every seat in the state. Akhilesh is the Lok Sabha MP from Azamgarh and has never contested a state election. His seat has not been decided yet, sources told media reports. The Ahmadmi Party on Wednesday named Amit Palikar as its chief ministerial candidate for upcoming assembly elections in Goa. AAP national convener Arvind Kejriwal made the announcement during a press briefing in Panaji, Goa. Kejriwal said that the party will be contesting all the 40 assembly seats in Goa. AAP had a disappointing show in the 2017 elections, failing to win even a single seat. It had run a spirited campaign, however, pitching 39 candidates for the 40-member strong assembly. Airlines across the world were sent into a frenzy, rescheduling flights to the United States over fears of 5G rollout in the country. An announcement by AT&T Inc. and Verizon Communications about switching on 5G near American airports raised concerns as it could interfere with key safety systems. The 5G network can interfere with sensitive navigation equipment used during landings and poor weather. AT&T and Verizon agreed late Tuesday to delay switching on hundreds of 5G cell towers near US airports. This was arrived at after last-minute talks with government officials over safety concerns. The head of the Indian Council of Medical Research's Epidemiological Department, Samiran Panda, has said that COVID will become endemic by March 11th. He said, and I quote, if we don't let our guards down and no new variant emerges, COVID will be endemic by March 11th. If Omicron replaces Delta, it will become endemic. If there's no new variant catching up, then there is a possibility that COVID may become endemic. The ICMR mathematical projection shows the Omicron wave will last three months starting December 11th. Scheduled international commercial flights to and from India will remain suspended till February the 28th, Director General of Civil Aviation said in a fresh order on Wednesday. Flights under air bubble arrangements will not be affected, the DGCA said. The decision comes as the world is braving a fresh wave of the COVID-19 pandemic driven by the Omicron variant, which is the latest of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.